Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, July 23rd, 2018, and I want to talk to you all about the all iron battery and updates on the separator. I'm a little slow this week because I went to the San Juan Islands to look at whales and got to see a baby humpback whale leaping out of the water, which was really exciting, really loved it. Uh, but it did slow me down just a little bit this week, so hope you all forgive me for that. I think we finally have our two different options. One, if you want to build this for educational purposes and you only want to build one. Or two, if you want to actually produce a bunch of these for something more practical. If you only want to produce an educational demonstration of battery technology, then a high-grade Nafion separator such as from the fuel cell store is a great option. Really good polymer, lasts a long time, very efficient separator, doesn't allow very much self-discharge. If, on the other hand, you want an inexpensive option to make a whole ton of these for short-term energy storage from, say, a solar panel, in that case, I'm going to recommend the sodium polyacrylate polymer that is available from Amazon.com. So that super absorbent chemical does absorb a lot of water, and so you need to dilute it heavily, and then pour it over a substrate such as high-quality paper, let that evaporate, repeat a couple times in order to build up a high concentration of that sodium polyacrylate within the paper. Having done that, you can see the kind of comparison we're getting. So, so here you can see a comparison of the three different membranes. The benchmark is the commercial Nafion. The next is a ad hoc Nafion membrane where we treated paper with Nafion polymer. And then the third best is that sodium acrylate embedded in paper just by evaporation. Definitely lower in performance, but very, very inexpensive, easy to handle, very uh, non-toxic, great stuff. It's in diapers, it's fine. So now that we have a good separator chemistry option, uh, we're going to scale up and build a 6-volt battery with 12 of these little half-volt cells in series. I purchased some graph oil, thank you to the commenter for the suggestion. That's going to be our current collector behind the carbon felt. Carbon felt is a little more expensive, but it's just so much more efficient than just a sheet of graphite. The high surface area of the felt really helps to get good current density. Uh, once we have that prototype built, I will show you all a video of its construction. We're going to publish a little instructional on how to build these things. And I think that will conclude this phase of the project. We may be looking into doing some more high performance work with some other carbon electrodes and potentially even some flow batteries. But we will return to that once we get this particular phase of the project done and get our uh, open source plan as promised for our crowdfunders. Special thanks to those crowdfunders for supporting this research. Thank you to Nico for working through the battery separators very carefully and systematically. I hope that's interesting for all of you, and we will see you next week.